A tipster has revealed a photo that claims to show a new camera module for the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 6. Initially, rumors stated that the Galaxy Z Fold 6 will have the same underwhelming camera array as its predecessor, putting it below the best camera phones of 2024. A recent rumor suggests that the Galaxy Z Fold the 6th of May update at least some of its present back camera sensors. Currently, these sensors have the same megapixel count as the Galaxy S24, which has a 50 megapixel primary camera, a 12 megapixel ultrawide sensor, and a 10 megapixel 3x telephoto device, but the new array is believed to be an upgrade. Now, reliable leaker Ice Universe has posted a photo that appears to show one of the rear cameras intended for the Galaxy Z Fold 6. While the leak only indicates that the camera module will feature a new design and does not specify any specifications, we doubt Samsung would implement a design change without also upgrading the camera hardware. ICE Universe has said that the Galaxy Z Fold 6 would have a less noticeable crease than the Fold 5, yet the wrinkle will still be evident. The device was also found on the testing website DeepBench, confirming rumors that it would be powered by the Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 CPU. Previous rumors suggest that the phone will embrace a new boxier appearance and feature. A larger outer screen, as well as being smaller and lighter, are believed to be on the way. However, most reports indicate that the Galaxy Z Fold 6 will keep the same 4400 mAh battery as the previous generation and the same 25 watt charging speed. Samsung is anticipated to launch the Galaxy Z Fold 6 on July 10, but unlike some rumors, it will not be accompanied by affordable and premium variants. Tipster EV Leaks shared a list of exciting products that Samsung will reveal at its next Galaxy Unpacked event, but one device was noticeably absent from Ev's list. The Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra. Does this mean there won't be a Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra this year? We don't think so. It's more likely that Ev's list only includes devices coming to the United States, which may not apply to Samsung's first Ultra-branded foldable. Finally, what are your thoughts about it? So without been said let me know your thought in the comment below and if you are new here please subscribe peace out.